Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's now talk about multiples. Now a number is said to be a multiple of each of its factors. Now very interesting, factors and multiples are very closely related. So it is something like this. Let's say that you have a sister. So what will you be to your sister? You will be your sister's brother and she will be your she will be a brother's sister and you will be a sister's brother. So how is the relation like? So let's say that the name of your sister is say Rina. And let's say that your name is Sunny. So this means that Rina is sister of Sunny and Sunny is brother of Rina. So that's the relation, right? So in a similar way, if you see that say 2 is a factor of 12, that would mean that 12 is a multiple of 2. So that is how the relation is. So let's say 2 and 12. So if we say that 2 is a factor of 12, then we will have to say that 12 is a multiple of 2. So a number is always a multiple of each of its factors. So let us understand this with examples. Now we had seen in the previous slide that for any number, let's say for number 3, we have how many factors? It has two factors, 1 and 3. Right? Why? Because 3 can be written as 1 into 3, it can also be written as 3 into 1. So this means, what does this mean? This means that 3 is a multiple of 1, 3 is also a multiple of 3. So 3 is a multiple of 1, 3 is a multiple of 3. Similarly, if you take number 4, so 4 can be written as 1 into 4, it can be written as 2 into 2, it can also be written as 4 into 1. So it has 3 factors that is 1, 2 and 4. So that means that 4 is multiple of 1, 2 and 4. Let's talk about 6. So what are the factors that 6 has? So 1 into 6, 2 into 3, 3 into 2, 6 into 1. So 1, 2, 3, 6. These are the factors of 6. So this means that 6 is multiple of 1, 2, 3 and 6. So this is the meaning of multiple. Now let us try writing multiples of different numbers. So let us start with the small, small numbers. So let's, let's start with 2. So how do we write multiple? Multiple, what, how do we write multiples? Multiple means whenever you multiply a number to this number, you would get another number. So that would basically become its multiple. For example, if you multiply 1 to 2, you get Two. That means 2 is a multiple of 2 because 2 can be exactly divided by 2. Similarly, if you write 2 into 2 which is equal to 4, so that means 4 is divisible by 2. That means 2 becomes a factor of 4 and 4 becomes a multiple of 2. So please understand this concept very carefully. Now the exact divisor of any number is called its factor. Right? And the number which of which it is a factor is called its multiple. So that, that's the simple concept. So in this case 2 into 2 is 4. That means 4 is a multiple of 2 and 2 is a factor of 4 because 2 is an exact divisor of 4. Similarly if you write 2 into 3 equal to 6 that means 6 is exactly divisible by 2. So 2 is a factor of 6 and 6 is a multiple of 2. 2 into 4 is equal to 8 which means 8 is exactly divisible by 2. Therefore, 2 is a factor of 8 and 8 is a multiple of 2. So that's the logic. Now in this way, we can write down all the multiples of 2. And this will continue because as you keep increasing this number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on, you will continue to get these multiples. So how many multiples exist for 2? 
infinite because this 1 2 3 4 the counting will go till infinity we know right that natural numbers whole numbers they continue till infinity so basically 2 multiplied by infinity will become some infinity so that way is we can say that there exists infinite number of multiples for a particular number so please understand the concept of or, or understand the relationship between factor and multiple very very clearly so let us take any one example from this so can you tell me from this who is a factor and who is a multiple and why so if you take this instant you will see this means that 8 is exactly divisible by 2. Now since 8 is exactly divisible by 2, that means if you divide 8 by 2, what will you get? You get 4. So that means that 2 is a factor of 8 and it also means that 8 is a multiple of 2. So that is the simple concept of factors and multiples, right? Let's try, try to write multiples of the number 3. How would you write multiples of 3? 3 into 1, 3 into 2, 3 into 3, 3 into 4 and so on. So what do you get? 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on. So in this fashion, you can write down the multiples of 3. Now, in similar fashion, you can also write multiples of bigger numbers. So, let us take an example. Let's consider 12. So, how would you write multiples of 12? Just keep on multiplying the various natural numbers like 12 into 1, 12 into 2, 12 into 3, 12 into 4. So, what do you get? You get 12, 24, 36, 48 and so on. So this can go till infinity. So there exists infinite multiples of any number. So you talk about even bigger number like 200 or 20. So it would be 20 into 1 which is 20, 20 into 2 which is 40, 20 into 3 which is 60 and so on. So in this way, we can write down multiples of numbers. So I hope that the relationship between factors and multiples is clear now. So what do... Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.